welcome. In this lecture, I am going to illustrate the scientific method through a famous example, discovery of DNA structure. The scientific method progresses based on the prior knowledge available in the literature. And what was the prior knowledge available at a time when the question about the structure of DNA molecule was being discussed? It was already known that the DNA molecule is the carrier of the genetic information. This was due to efforts or experiments carried out by Avery, MacLeod and McCarthy way back in 1944. Previous investigations into DNA molecule had also determined its chemical composition. Thus, the four nucleotides that form the DNA molecule were known. Their structure was known of individual nucleotide structure was known and properties of these nucleotides were also known. So, the question was what is the arrangement of these nucleotides in the DNA molecule? In fact, to be more precise, what is the mechanism of storing and transforming the genetic information in the DNA molecule. So, that was the scientific question which was being investigated by many groups, by many researchers. So, different groups, different researchers had hypothesis about how they are arranged. Francis Crick and James D. Watson hypothesized that DNA had a helical structure. What is a prediction that you can come up with if you assume the helical structure? Using mathematics of helix transform, Koshran, Crick and Van predicted that if DNA had a helical structure, then its X-ray diffraction pattern would show X shape. So, you expect certain pattern in the X-ray diffraction of DNA molecule if you hypothesize that a structure is like a helix, try to understand that this is purely a mathematical prediction, a mathematical construct, completely independent from the biological problem at hand. Question is, can you come up with experimental evidence that supports this mathematical prediction, this model prediction? Independently, experiments were carried out by Rosalind Franklin. She crystallized pure DNA and performed X-ray diffraction on this crystallized sample. She decided to communicate her results. So, this is the famous photo 51, which showed an X shape. Detailed analysis of this photo 51 revealed to Watson that this is nothing but a test, a verification of the predictions made earlier by Crick based on helix transforms. Based on this evidence, using this X-ray diffraction pattern, Watson and Crick produced their helix model along with previously known information about the DNA composition and about the molecular interactions such as hydrogen bond. So, this model of the DNA, this helix model revolutionized the biology and the science after they published their model. 